I have no idea how to start this, so I'm just gonna jump in and pretend like I didn't post my last video over a year ago. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ariana Uribe, and in today's video, I will be showing you my everyday makeup routine. Like many of you, I just started school, more specifically my freshman year of college. Very exciting, I know, I know. A few people have asked for a back to school makeup tutorial on my TikTok and Instagram, so I thought I would show you guys. Considering I call this my everyday makeup bag, I have significantly cut down the amount of products I will be using in today's video. <laughs> The first thing I do, and the first thing I think everybody should do, is apply sunscreen. Whether you wear makeup or not, wear sunscreen. I'm using the Neutrogena Visibly Even Daily Moisturizer, which has SPF 30 in it. Um, I apply a very generous amount. I just changed the placement of my lighting and I can't really tell if I like it more, so I'm just gonna keep going. Before I apply any primer or face products, I do my eyebrows. I just think this allows my moisturizer to have more time to sink in before I put anything on top. So for the brows, I'm going in with the NYX, the brow glue. I also use pear soap, but when I'm in a rush or don't want to spend as much time on my brows, I just use this and I really like it. Before I continue, I'm gonna be looking this way a lot because my mirror's over here. Just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> when I'm trying to go for a more natural everyday makeup look, I don't really fill them in. I just carve out the bottom of them with a concealer that is similar to my skin shade. And this is the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer in Light Beige. Now that they're carved out and not filled in, I know it's a lot more evident that my eyebrows are not very even, um, but it's okay. It's okay. Now that my brows are done and I feel like my moisturizer has had enough time to settle into my skin, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Any primer that leaves your face feeling a little bit sticky is going to help with the longevity of your makeup. Currently, I don't wear any foundation to school considering my classes are online. But once my in-person class does start, I will be wearing foundation. So I thought I would give you guys two options. The first option is the Morphe Glow Stunner Tinted Moisturizer. I highly recommend this if you don't really care to have a full coverage beat. You just want something to kind of even out your skin tone. It's also very lightweight on the skin. And I'm honestly surprised more people aren't really talking about this. Or at least from what I've seen, no one's really talking about this. But I highly recommend if anyone is curious, I'm in the shade Light Glow 3. The second option is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is for the people out there who do want a more full coverage look but without it feeling so heavy. It's gotten so much well-deserved hype on TikTok and I just started using it and I love it. I'm in the shade 411 on this foundation. For today's video, I'm just going to be using the Morphe Tinted Moisturizer. Please don't judge me for how I apply my foundation. I don't wear foundation since my classes are online. I honestly just wear concealer, blush, and mascara and call it a day. I can also safely say that applying any foundation or tinted moisturizer with a brush gives more coverage. So even if you did want to use the tinted moisturizer but you wanted to make sure it still had a good amount of coverage, I highly recommend using a brush instead of a sponge. I have pretty dry skin, especially as it gets colder, so the glow this is giving me is greatly appreciated. The next thing I do is go back in with my Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. Since this shade is pretty similar to my skin tone, I don't use it so much for highlighting as I do just additional coverage, like under my eyes and on like little blemish spots that I have. Also, apologies if the lighting or angle changes at any point. I'm using a desk lamp and a like $10 tripod from Amazon. Normally I would cream contour before or after concealer, but considering this is a 
natural everyday back to school i don't know what the heck i'm gonna title this but since it's supposed to be natural i'm not gonna use cream contour before i apply my setting powder i go in with a little bit of cream blush this is the she glam liquid blush in the shade hush hush these blushes are honestly surprisingly good i have two shades in them and i'm really tempted to buy more as you can see i apply my blush in a diagonal line and then i blend upwards the goal is to create an illusion of a facelift my ears just want to be out today now that I'm done using any cream or liquid products, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder and a powder puff. If you don't already, I highly recommend applying your loose powder with a powder puff. And you can already see the difference. The shine is gone, but it doesn't look dry. So basically how I use it is just add a little bit of powder to it, press it under the eye, and then keep patting and pressing until the powder is completely gone. Then I just use whatever's left on the sponge to go over the rest of my face. I have pretty dry skin, so I don't like using too much powder. As you can see, the powder and the powder puff give the skin a very smooth, filter-like finish. Now that my face is set and lacking dimension, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Bronzing Palette. Since this is supposed to be an everyday natural makeup look, I'm just going to contour with bronzer instead of actual contour. I put a very light amount on my forehead because it's already ridiculously small. In this lighting, I'm not sure the difference between the bronze side and the non-bronze side is totally noticeable, but I kind of just mix the two colors and then I go downward and then blend upward. And since I wasn't blessed with a defined jawline, I'm going ham. Feel free to skip this step. I just don't really like my nose, so I'm going to contour it a little bit. Just a very quick rundown on how I do my nose contour. I draw a little circle around the ball of my nose, and then I draw two lines going upwards. Then I connect those two lines to my brow bone. Now that my face has a little bit more color in it again, I'm going to go back in with the powder just to clean up my contour. <laughs> I use a triangle sponge to get the straightest lines possible. I'm also just not the type of person to use the same sponge for liquids and powders, which is why I use this for powder and this for liquids. <laughs> now I'm just cleaning up my nose. I'm not sure if I'm alone in this feeling and that maybe someone could explain it to me, but I feel way cuter in this part of my makeup than I do at the end of it, but anyways, while this sits on my face, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. After my eyelashes are curled, but before I apply mascara, I just brush away the powder. Now let me tell you, when it comes to mascara, I have tried way too many to try to find the one that keeps them from falling. I have always had full and somewhat long eyelashes, but always struggled to keep them from falling because they're pretty straight. And as much as I hate waterproof mascara, it's literally the only one that keeps my eyelashes from falling. I also realized I didn't say the name of it, but it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara in Black. Next, I go in with the e.l.f. Coconut Dewy Setting Mist because like I said, I have pretty dry skin and I did apply a good amount of powder. 
and you just bathe in it. I promise it works. After setting spray, I go on with a little bit of highlighter. I will be using my very much cracked and crumbled Fenty Beauty highlighter in the shade Fire Crystal. Um, a little bit of this goes such a long way. I just apply it to the tip of my nose. Look at how cute. Probably my favorite part to highlight ever. The bridge of my nose. And the inner corner of my eye. I stopped highlighting my cheekbones a long time ago just because I feel like it's not necessary. I really just like highlighting my nose. <laughs> Lastly, I apply tinted lip balm. This one is from Undone Beauty in the shade Berry Glow. <laughs> Usually I don't feel comfortable without a lip liner because I have very undefined lips in my opinion. Um, but if you're in person, you're wearing a mask anyways, so... This is the final look. Hopefully this video helped and you got some back to school makeup inspo. If you have any other video recommendations, I'd love to hear them, especially because I really do want to try to be more consistent. Unfortunately, I make no promises. <laughs> if you want to see more of me and my makeup, my Instagram and TikTok will be right here. Every follow, comment, and like means the absolute world to me. And hopefully I see you guys soon.